。吓，有冇搞错啊 ？Hello， 大家好。Hello， 靓仔靓女。系，我系 Paji。And 我系 Yasmin。Yes， 今日我哋就系讲师奶 topic 嘅，系讲广东话。OK。因嗯，因為我哋係每第二個星期就會講廣東話。I don't even know this this like Cantonese name for, but this is like a little short story. Like, do you know the invasive flies? No. Show me. Oh my god, come on. Ooh, it's like they look like this. Oh my god. I mean, the white one, they're red. They're all red on the inside. So once they open their wings, they're red. But it's like it's so invasive, and and let me tell you, if you look on TikTok, like in New York City, the tree is full of it, and full of it, like 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 actually, like when you swipe it down, all of them just fall. It's disgusting, and they're back. Like I literally saw one in my backyard, and I was like, "Could you let it tie? Could it tie him? Say tie the say, but you tie how many times? Tie how many times? But anyway, um, 我今次嘅師奶 talk 咧，咁我啱啱就誒、呃、變咗，變咗，轉咗 ，turned twenty nine， <笑>變咗廿九歲。誒<笑>、呃、咧，咁但係咧，我覺得 ，yeah， it's good， 嚟個開心啦，開心可以老啲嘅。我覺得呢個年紀咧都 OK 嘅，因為咧。嗯你你份工可能比較，即係我份工比較誒誒、um, um, stable， 嗯穩定 ，stable 穩定嘅，跟住同老公都穩定啦，跟住好多嘢都穩定，但係咧，我覺得我個身體開始好弱咯。<笑>哎呀，你有冇你近排有冇做運動啊？飲多少啊？就我呢我呢排咧，啱啱開始打 pickle ball。Ooh, Have you heard of it? Yes, yes. Ah, Hong Kong, what do you? Yeah. Oh, that sounds just like yeah. Pah ha. Ah, my turn. Pah ha kao. Pah ha kao. I 见到澳门啊，开始打咯。个系啊，澳门都开始打。嗯。跟住啊，应该叫拍球啊。你你 correct us if we're wrong. Pah ha kao. 嗯哼。诶，好好玩啦，其实都同网球差唔多。跟住亦 ，it's like between. 網球 and table tennis， 乒乓球，係啊係啊，誒，好玩啦！但係我覺得我自己咧，我好有誒誒、uh, um, competitiveness。What is that？、Oh, 你好誒， um, 有戰爭爭鬥啊，爭戰爭誒，挑戰，即係成日都要贏咯。好中意，係啊，好中意贏，係啦係啦，係啊，成日都要贏，但係咧。我都差差唔多卅幾歲，我要接受咧自己自己個身體咧冇咁冇咁活躍啊，冇咁冇咁冇咁誒力誒靈活，係啊靈活啊，跟住、啊、超 like 我超猛咯，琴日我輸咗俾輸咗俾輸咗俾啲朋友。Oh my！ God 但我第一次去打拍黑球嗰陣咧，係上個星期。去打嗰陣咧，我打咗兩個鐘，呢個膝頭哥開始痛咯，頂佢個肺。係、哎、關節位啊，最弱啊，開始啊，開始。係啊，我哋細個睇廣告，睇睇到睇啲廣告喺度話咩啊，關節關節炎啊，你有咩痛有咩痛？而家到我哋痛咯。係、哎、啊，真係到我哋痛啊。係啊，所以開始做運動咯。跟住我琴日喺度打匹克球嗰陣咧，喺度諗。諗起我爸爸咧，因為佢成日都會打網球，佢就算五十六十歲，佢都會每個星期去打網球，因為我好尊重佢咯。係<笑>，我都好中意喎。佢阿爸誒 ，Yasby 阿爸係教我哋誒、呃、打網球。啊，係啊！大部分我哋啲小朋友一齊一齊學。而家廿九歲，我哋真係要認真開始，記住要做運動，飲多啲水。係啊，要認真啲啊，真係。嗯哼，全部人一齊記住，飲多啲水，做多啲運動。誒、呃、拉筋先做，再做運動 ，OK？ 嗯哼，係啊，我中意，其實我中意做運動咧，我中意玩玩即係誒、呃、球類嘅運動咯，我唔係好中意去 gym 啊，因為我覺得去 gym 有啲悶。哦、<笑>我都覺得啊，係啊，係咯、啊
。咁呢個就我嘅師奶 talk 咯，我覺得真係變師奶啊，開始老啦。嗯，係咯。唉，好，咁到我嘅師奶 topic 就嗯，唔知你哋有冇聽講我誒係而家搬屋。嗯，開始搬屋，所以咧就嗯特別忙啦呢幾排。嗯哼，你住喺嗰度，你住咗好耐啦嘛。係啊，呢誒呢度係我第一即係誒、嗯、我屋企即係住喺澳門出嚟第一間屋咯，嚟。嗯，唔係同家人住，第一次係係係住，係啦。呢兩日已經。好快就執曬成間屋咯，就嚟係連嚟全部啲嘢誒，連連嗰個廁所都換埋新啊，因為佢唔想俾嗰個 landlord 啊，嗯，告啊，跟住罰你錢啊嘛，會，我我可以整俾你，係啊，罰錢嘅會，係咧，我就係罰落你，但係已經難罰落你啦，住咗五年。原本就係去 Temple，、嗯、但係已經換咗 plan， 換咗個計劃啦。而、嗯、家就誒十一月至十二月，我會去亞洲咯，同我老公係啦。呢、哦这個就係我嘅計劃。跟住誒十一月之前咧，係啊係啊，兩個月先，但跟住就唔知睇下先咯。但係誒十一月之前就會同我哋。in law 一齊住啊，同埋佢誒佢阿哥都誒、呃、就嚟結婚啊，個嗯十月，所以我哋其實有好多嘢可以要做，所以就同家人一齊住咯。唉，好搞笑，因為我成日都嗯投訴佛羅里達冇亞洲嘢食，但係我我下星期就會住睇我。我揾咗 ，I I found the the the, the Cantonese name, but so I just、long. googled it.、Ah! <laughs> Bro, no, it's hilarious to say it. Ah,、uh, <laughs> Lam Ka. Okay, 個州咧就係叫南卡，南南卡路啊，係嘛？南卡路內內納，南卡啊，南卡路內納。州係啊，南南卡羅內納哦，南卡羅內納州 ，mouthful。It is South Carolina. That's what it is. Ah,、uh, but yeah, Myrtle Beach, Muck Duck, Muck Duck, Yi Bei K, Muck Duck Yi Bei K. 哇，做咩啲名咁難讀？咪係咯，唉 ，Well。That's what it is. 做大人啦，我哋今日嘅師奶 talk 咪係啦 ，adulting exactly 師奶 talk 做成人係係啊係啊做成人師，成人師，成人師。No one like no one really prepares you for anything. So oh no, never. I mean, you know, people will only just tell you what things are gonna be like, but everything is gonna be your version of it. Right?、Mm. Is it gonna be different? So expect the unexpected. Ah, 加油啦，大家！如果你哋系成人嘅话，如果你哋系小朋友，你哋你哋珍惜啊 ，cherish。Or, 如果有啲系老过我哋嘅人收听我哋呢个师奶 talk， please give us advice. Alright, guys, we're gonna like answer some Q and A from our fans. This is from the broadcast channel. All right. Thank、mm. you guys for following. If you haven't joined, check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll、yeah. just ask. Have you taught your husbands to speak Canto? <laughs>、uh, I've tried. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You know, it takes the 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 desire from the person to learn. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, I have taught him to speak Canto. 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 I have taught him to Exactly, exactly. That's what I I also taught my husband because、uh, I I met my husband in Macau. He was a English teacher there,、um, and then yeah, so he would ask me like, how do I ask them to open the window? Like I say, hi, Chang, hi, and those freaking <gasps> students like made fun of him like, oh, Chang, 
hard turn, ha ha ha. And I'm like, gosh. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe got traumatized. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's hard for foreigners to, yeah. to learn. Anyone he knows, to learn. he knows, at this point, he only knows Ngoi. Oh, hey, it's Goy. good. That's a good amount. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That's an important one, right? Yeah. All right. Favorite water margin character? What yeah, I that? looked that up and I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Them. I Sorry. don't, yeah, we don't know. Any. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. Will you show more clips of your mad Kanto cooking skills? Oh, yes, mean. She said, I'm ABC North Ca Canada. Ooh, we want to. Hello. Uh, I mean, we are, yes, coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> yes, we're trying to cook it up. We're, let us cook. Let us cook. We will. We it's will. cooking. It's still cooking. <laughs> All right. Next up. Next question. I understand some Mandarin, but I murder it when speaking. Lol. Same. <laughs> same. same. I missed the potat from KFC. Lol. Oh my God. Yeah. Just a very nice. That? Yes, I do. And it's a nice, mm. like, dude, first off, it's Portuguese egg tart in KFC. And they only have it yeah. in the Hong Kong KFC. Like, they don't have it in the Macau one. Like, we, you can't get the oh, egg Oh, really? Tart yeah, no. it's like so unique to Macau. Exactly. Yeah, no, but you know, you can only get it in Hong Kong. That's what I mean. Like, oh. it's weird. It's like, in oh. Macau, I could only get the chocolate mousse and the pudding. I go to KFC a lot with my family. That's why I know this. <laughs> And then, like, when, when you go to Hong Kong, you know, right before the, the ferry, you know, there's a KFC. And I always get, like, chicken and there's always egg tart. And I'm like, it's so weird how there's pota in this KFC, but they don't pota in Macau. Maybe because there's Lord's random. Toast. I don't know. Yeah. Why not tan ta? I don't understand. <laughs> it's so weird. Who knows? Maybe the boss is Portuguese. So Maybe. he's like, not pota, not tan ta, pota. Yeah, let's ask the, let's ask the, uh, if you guys know the KFC um, um, owner in <laughs> Hong Kong, let us know. <laughs> All right, next question. What is your favorite Hong Kong snack? And can you speak Mandarin? Love you guys. Well, okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what is your favorite so Hong Kong many... snack? I know, it's so hard. I mean, my, the top, the first thing that I think of is Mami Mean. Ooh. <laughs> like, it, it used to be my childhood favorite because they're so cheap and it's so flavorful. I bet, I bet. I would say for me is the fish sausage winner. You know the winner. The fish sausage. Yeah, it's called winner. But they also have the garlic flavor one. I love. It's like an orange oh my God. packaging. Like you know. also check out like maybe we can link the episode where we talked about Hong Kong Cantonese snacks or Hong Kong Macau snacks. For sure. Check for it sure. out because we went in depth into it. Yes, we really did. We really did. It's good job. Good job. Good job. Good call. Good call. My question was, um, what is your skincare routine? Well, what is your skincare? <laughs> I mean, sometimes I feel bad saying this, but I don't really have one. You know, mm, like mm. I, I mean, I, I use mostly coconut oil when there's like. Oh. I mean, I do have. It really depends on the time of the month for me. Mm -mm. Like it depends on the time of the month. If if it's that time, then it's like not clean but then some parts is clean and so, but generally i just use like coconut oil or like the aloe the korean um aloe gel which oh, is yeah, like yeah. really yeah it that's feels really nice. good that's good it makes me feel clean what about you so now i'm doing peach and lily like it's the only one that didn't like you know go crazy and so now i, I tried um mm -hmm. yeah i didn't break out i did try yeah. yeah sometimes and like, like baby like, you know like when i do try like other ones and it just do, didn't do well and then i just have to throw it away you know like it's such a waste i know it's like there's so many products out there and i was the other day i was just trying to buy um like a desk setup mm. or like tables or whatever there's so many competitors and and then at the end of the day i'm like thinking what the hell all of these do the exact same thing and they they do the same job <laughs> like the difference is so tiny it's so hard to choose and then plus for skincare it's even harder because like every skin type type is so different like how do you yeah and <laughs> People are like, oh, you have to use it consistently and to see results. I'm like, I don't have time for that. Like, you know, <laughs> oh, it's, so, it's so hard. It's so hard to do that. Oh, are you both going to the next VidCon? 
Where is that? Like, I think it's in California. It's, it's like a, it's like a summit. It's like a conference, like for creator, uh, content creators all like go to and just mingle. Fortunately, no, not yet. Not as of now. No. When are you inviting Lana Kia to enter your show? Oh my God. Can we invite her? Look, if she has, if she, like pays attention to us we'll invite her immediately she's so cool because she sings really well yeah too, and rap. i love how she uses that yeah 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 she raps too super cool <laughs> uh, uh best friends question mark I'd say my best friend is sandra sandra alvish you know she did choose me from um uh like age of three but whenever i'm at school my best friend is yasmin <laughs> Watch the episode if you guys want to know more. <laughs> My best friend. Um, yeah, we definitely grew up close. And then I I think my sisters. I do see them as my best friends. And Juhi. Juhi's been a good friend too. She's always always with me. And she we couldn't we couldn't have gone this far without her. That's true. Love her. Alright, what is the best macanese food? Oh. <sighs> Uh, the best or our favorite? Mm, I guess our best. So it's like favorite, our favorite. Macanese. I don't know if this is macanese, but I really like bakayang. Mm, that's yummy. Yeah. I like, I actually am very old school and I like minchi, you know, like, and I would just add the kali on the minchi. Oh my God, so good. How's the USA? Expensive. USA. USA. Yeah. USA. Um honestly, I'm happy. I think this place is is good. That's awesome. I feel like life would be so different if we didn't move to the US. No, oh, yeah. Right? Like so, there's just honest yeah, there's just I know it sounds cliche and everyone says it, but there really is a lot of opportunity here. Oh yeah, cuz it's huge. Like there's just mass produced for everything like there's so many choices for everything but i think the fact that we have options that's the yeah so much options and like you don't have to like stick to only one job type of thing you know okay will you come to hk <laughs> you're going soon i'm going soon yes i will be in macau uh december so maybe around december i might be in hong kong uh, Yasmin, would you be there? <laughs> That'd be so cool if you were there too. Do I have PTO? <laughs> <laughs> Buy her PTO, guys. <laughs> All right, uh, someone asked, how do you know Cantonese? So, we grew up in Macau, born and raised in Macau. Went to a Cantonese, Chinese local school. We learned to write, read, and speak. Cantonese growing up and I feel like we were definitely a lot more fluent in Cantonese when we were growing up and then English came a little after family language because our families are also immigrants in Macau so yeah that's why because we were third cultural kids basically fourth culture because yeah we didn't we third culture actually implies that one of our parents are um, you know, like of the culture. Are you from Hong Kong or did you learn Cantonese? Like our um, answer earlier. Macau, guys. Macau. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. What do you think of accents on Cantonese? I cringe hard hearing my American accent. Accents like English? Mm -hmm. Accents in English of Cantonese? Like, I guess, like, people speaking Cantonese with uh, an American accent, maybe. I mean, it's funny. It's just, I think, like, because kids in America, they also go through, like, speech therapy to sound right. You know, like... Some of them, yeah. Yeah, and so, so, so like, and so but a lot of them would have, like, a fixated mouth, almost, like, a, a muscle, like... And, and I think also in general, it's just hard to learn the accent after a certain age. Yeah, I just also feel like some people have more of a mouth move, like a flexible mouth movement than some. Oh, and, like, uh -uh. and it just takes a while to, to like 
get rid of the to grasp with the yeah because different yeah. language has different ways of using the mouth muscle exactly <laughs> what are your favorite canto descriptive phrases like yun dum dum fei du du ho mong mong ho mong mong Hot mong mong? Is that what you're trying to say? I think she's trying to say hot mong mong. Oh my god! What loot loot is kind of cute. That's cute. Yeah, you uh, loot loot like loot is such a weird um, uh, way to pronounce loot. The opposite is high sap sap. High sap sap. The <laughs> high sap sap. High la high sap sap. Uh, West Coast tour. Someone asks. Maybe. Oh my god! Yeah, hopefully, maybe. Stay tuned. <laughs> Manifest, manifest. <laughs> hey, Mon Charming Keen. Hey, Mon Charming Keen. Mm. Oh, uh, I'm having stomach problems. You can hear me burp uh, so much. Uh, Thanks, say. guys, for tuning. Yeah. So, bye. Bye uh, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hopefully this is a platform that makes people feel safe. I can't